so um we've been talking about relationship and we we've, we've talked about trust and we've talked about respect now we'll go on to seeing what are the other feelings and how we can have justice in human human relationships as we go on with the family with the harmony in the family so uh these four statements regarding relationship we've been through them the nine feelings we listed them out and um we are familiar with them we looked at trust like i said we looked at respect so first of all trust what we call the foundation value trust is assurance in the other person isn't it so trust has to do with trust on intention of the other person then we talked of respect respect has to do with the right evaluation of the competence and now in the last session we spoke of seeing our complementarity with the other when we see that there is this difference in competence not that we have to differentiate from one another on the basis of the differing competence but we can see our complementarity with each other so what do we mean by seeing the complementarity with each other that means we are seeing the other person as a relative isn't it we are seeing our relatedness with the other we are seeing our relationship with the other therefore we are seeing the complementary their complementarity therefore we are thinking of helping the other so this feeling of being related to the other this acceptance of the other as our relative that the other is like me that is the feeling of affection when i have the feeling of affection i will take responsibility in the relationship i will try to be committed to fulfilling that relationship with the other person so any questions uh, regarding this we can uh, take them we've heard this in the five day online workshop also so if we have any of us have any questions regarding this feeling of affection we can take it up one in goda ji sashikant ji ji sashikant ji if you want to ask something yeah uh, trust is of course basic and it is there in all human beings can you speak a little louder please i didn't hear that yeah 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 uh, is is it audible now yeah Uh, as as already all of us are aware that trust is basic and is there in all human beings the respect was also spelled in a similar way that respect means treating others similar to yourself and now affection is also speaking almost in a similar terminology uh, shall i take it in this way that uh, the affection is Uh, much closer as compared to that of respect yeah so in the case of trust and respect we can have the feeling within us we can ensure the feeling of trust and respect for everybody when it comes to the feeling of affection not only do we have this feeling of being related to the other but we are also taking responsibility we are having that commitment for fulfilling the relationship so here we may have the feeling of affection for few isn't it you yeah, know yeah. family we can see yeah we have you know a feeling of affection for our family members we are Perfect. taking responsibility for them we are committed to fulfilling that relationship very very true thank you thank you very much Hello. If we see somebody we don't know at all, somebody who is say you know in Europe or America or somewhere else, we can still have a feeling of 
you know, relationship for them, we can still have this feeling of being related to them in some way, you know, I can ensure my feeling of relationship for them, but I don't have to necessarily take responsibility and commitment uh, towards them. I mean, I'm, I, you know, first of all, I won't be having any interaction with them. So the question of, you know, behavioral interaction may not come in. So definitely yeah. that feeling I can ensure within myself that much I can do for all regardless of whether I am in touch with them, whether I am not, whether I know them or not, isn't it? Yeah, got it clear. Thank you. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Didi. Hello. Ji. Uh, uh, Didi, I have got one question regarding his competence. So competence will remain same whether he is a boss or he is a student or he may be a colleague. That competence is remains same. It's yeah, character will remain same. Uh, we can try for whether it may be boss, so we can apply the same principle, or we may be the students, or maybe he may be colleague. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Didi. What do you mean by competence will remain the same? Same. Uh, that is. <laughs> thank you, Didi. Thank no, you. No, no, no. I am asking you. What yes. do you mean by competence will remain the same? In the, in the, it, it, that means uh, whether this. Uh, the, uh, the the person who is uh, suppose if a boss is uh, asking me to some do uh, some analytical uh, uh, things or uh, when a student may ask me to do some analytical things so then i have to treat both boss and this student the same in the same way ah, so the boss's competence may also be low ah yes the student's student competence may, be, may also low. be low, low. Then but, with the student, I will try. I will try to improve his competency. That's okay. what I'm saying. Then and you say even that in the case of the boss, also I have to do the same thing. Yes, yes. My role in both cases will be Everybody. similar. Uh -huh. But what yes. you said was the competence cannot change, cannot or will not change. Competence will remain the same. It, it won't no, no, change. No, no, no. When you say competence remains the same, it gives a different uh, connotation to that, isn't it? Mm. The yes, competence. Yes, yes. When I help the other to understand, I am helping mm. the other to improve his competence. So the competence yes, yes. will go up. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Isn't it? So the competence yes. can change. It doesn't have to be static. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Yes. That is important to see. That, that will remain same. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I hope it is clear for everybody that the competence <laughs> for any person is not something that will be there all the time unchanging. The intention or the natural acceptance is something that is unchanging. The competence, you know, will vary for different people, but we all have the potential to get to completeness of right understanding where we would reach our highest potential. Mm -hmm. When all our imagination can be in line with the natural acceptance, that potential we all have. So despite the fact that we may our competence may be lower today, when we make the effort, we can rise up to improving our competence. So it can change, it can increase, and we all have that potential. That is an important point. So I thought I should bring it across. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So. Um, this feeling of being related or affection, what we are saying. So right now, we may have acceptance for our blood relatives. We may have acceptance of the relationship for family members, for relatives, for friends. But outside of this circle, are we also seeing our relatedness? So because you know, if we are seeing our relatedness, outside of this circle of our immediate family members and so on, then we won't have these feelings of opposition, feeling of jealousy, anger, all these. So this feeling of opposition, feeling of jealousy, these are indicators of an absence of the feeling of affection. Absence in the sense, at that moment, I'm not having the feeling of affection. Therefore, I'm having this 
feeling of jealousy, opposition, and so on. So if there are any more questions on this, we'll take them up. Otherwise, we'll go forward with this. You can raise your hand if there's a question. Otherwise, we'll go forward if this is OK. Yes. So you can answer this reflection. Opposition and jealousy are an indication of absence of affection. Do you feel that that is true? And after you've answered, if there is any further question, we'll take it up. Otherwise, we'll move forward. And we'll go on to the next feeling. So we have talked, yeah. we have talked of trust, respect, and now affection. Uh, Didi, G. Uh, again, Shishkan Gosabi. So, uh, I was saying that when we address in the letters, we use the terminology as yours faithfully. <laughs> and uh, normally it is used when you are writing dear sir or uh, something like that. While uh, respected sir, if you are using normally, it is suggested that you should write at the end as uh, you are respectfully. And uh, for the closer ties, we are expected to write at the end yours affectionately. <laughs> is it taken in a similar way? Yeah, so these are just, you know, something that we have sort of uh, gotten used to or we, it has come in practice. But yeah. how much is the feeling behind it? That one has to see. Yes, yes. Uh, another like thing you, is... you know, you, you fly in the planes every now and then and the air hostess will tell you, you know, yes. uh, welcome, good day and have a nice day and all. Huh. So, you know, uh, there are some things that we are doing as a routine, almost. Huh. Uh, they are words, but here we are specifically focusing on the feeling. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Very true. Thank you. So, we can see in this uh, reflection that Maximum of us are able to see that, yes, this is, you know, opposition and jealousy are indicators of absence of the feeling of affection. Moving ahead, we come to this feeling of care, feeling of guidance. So when we have that, you know, feeling of affection, and with that, we take responsibility in the relationship we take on the commitment, then we take on responsibility for both the body of the relative and the self of the relative. When we talk of responsibility toward the body of the relative, we are talking of care, caring for the body. Responsibility and commitment for nurturing and protecting the body of the relative. When it comes to taking responsibility for the self of the relative, then we take responsibility and we are committed to ensure the right understanding and right feeling in the self of the relative. So both of these are natural outcomes of the feeling of affection because first we see our relatedness. When we see our relatedness, we naturally take on responsibility in the relationship. And we take on responsibility of the human being as a whole, the body and the self. But again, we have to come back to, are we aware of the self? Because if we are not aware of the self, then we focus largely on the body of the relative and we forget about the self. So we may focus on the physical facility for the body of the relative, like say for my child, I may keep feeding the child, all my love and affection is showered in the form of food for the child, but I don't pay any attention to right understanding and right feeling. So we have to check whether that is happening with us also. Are we ensuring both care as well as guidance or are we mostly focusing on care? So this example we have taken earlier also. 
when we are taking care of the body like when we are feeding the child are we taking care of both body and self or are we largely focusing on the self uh, on the body so i think this uh, you know we can ask ourselves maybe we can take some um some observations dr satya uh, hello ma'am so actually mine was more uh, related to the jealous uh, part um i, I uh, so i think i put my question here also anyway i'll just ask it in short so uh, when a spouse is jealous when his a better half is talking to another woman or man uh, we generally say that is due to excess of affection correct we never say that's due to lack of affection um uh, so could you just comment on that and the same thing is also when a mother sees a child talking to another a child uh, or a friend uh, she or he becomes very happy the father or the mother because you want your child to make more friends but that's not the case between the husband and the wife uh, <laughs> i think this is very naturally seen so would you like to just comment on that yeah so whenever we are over evaluating any relationship then we you know get into trouble when we don't have the right evaluation of the relationship then we get into trouble so whenever we over evaluate and we are looking for feeling from the other person then we are constantly fearful that i may lose it i become insecure it's like you know uh you have what you can think of as attachment you are uh, sort of dependent on the other person for getting feeling from them and you are over evaluating that relationship therefore you are you know um, because you are dependent on them you are not able to let go you you know the moment you sort of let them go you are fearful that they may not come back to you so you now you are um, sort of uh, having this feeling of opposition for anybody else that the person may talk to or you know may interact with and so on so um that would not be an excess of affection that would be an over evaluation of the relationship and uh, uh, a sense of attachment to the other a sense of dependence on the other for getting the right feeling from them this is how uh, one can look at that uh, uh yes ma'am yes actually that's very correct because when the children are young we are okay with that but in some cases when they become older or you know when they marry so the mother in law the father in law they generally have that so that's because maybe the uh, we are not very sure how to let go so now when the children are small uh, whatever you the evaluation which you put forth is uh, correct uh, now it's okay for us but maybe later when we ourselves become maybe mother in law father in law letting go is little difficult so thank you so much ji yes thank you thank you so much even when the children are little uh you know when we are taking care of the body of the children are we also focusing on the self of the children that we should see so when we are feeding the child we mix a big bowl for the child when the child is small and we keep you know cajoling the child and distracting the child and making the child see this see that and quickly putting in food in the mouth i think many mothers do that yes true very true <laughs> <laughs> and, and uh, so we say you know we have to feed the child because how will the child know how much to eat so one common uh, statement that i generally make to the mothers which i did a lot in practice was that you know when you were breastfeeding the child who was deciding how much to eat you were deciding or the child was deciding and it's very clear that the child was able to decide how much to eat because when the child is hungry the child feeds when the hunger is satiated the child stops feeding and you cannot force feed when you are breastfeeding so now if the baby could decide then what has changed now as the child gets older that 
ability should be there more and more. But mothers feel they know best and they must keep feeding the child. And here we have to check, you know, are we that affection we have for the child? Are we just showering it on the body? So we are able to see that you need to feed the body and we keep, you know, giving more and more and more food. And even if the child is making a face and getting most unhappy, is crying, still we persist and after maybe a gap of two minutes, again we bring the spoon and we want to put it in the child's mouth. We eat, finish, finish. We try to finish the whole bowl. So we have to see, you know, we are feeding the body, but we are making the self unhappy. Uh, that part also we have to keep track of. And as yes. the child gets older, we have to think of um, imparting the right understanding and right feeling also in that child, you know. We have to take uh, responsibility for all of those. Yes, true, ma'am. Actually, as a, as a mother, sometimes the thing we feel is that maybe the way we cook or the taste is not good enough that the child is refusing. In breastfeeding, that's different. It's natural food. But now when the mother starts preparing, so that also comes into play for forcing the child to have even vegetables. So yes, uh, true. What you said is completely true. But this one thought, I think mostly all mothers have that maybe the food taste is not good enough or tasty or oily. So that's the reason, I think, one of the reasons for forcing but without yeah. doubt what you said is very true yeah what Thank i'll you. just mention for that is that uh, we can see for ourselves when do we eat properly when we are hungry or when we are not hungry we'll find that we when we are hungry we don't bother so much about taste but as we start becoming full then we look for more tastier things to eat have you noticed that? Yes, yes, true, ma'am. <laughs> yes, yes. So if the child is really hungry, the child will eat. We don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. But the problem becomes that we want to have the child eat more than they need. That is the issue. Yes. We true, don't realize true. that you know, their need is only limited. We don't have to keep feeding. Somewhere we feel that uh, all the affection that we have, we tend to shower it in the food that we are giving yes so actually it's the a need of the mother more than the need of the child <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we feel more satisfied and happy yes <laughs> uh, so, yes true ma'am thank you so much thank, thank you. you yes so going on to the feeling of reverence incidentally when we are talking about uh, if i just go back one moment before we leave this care and guidance feeling. Um, it's not just the children, you know. If we look in our family members, we can see, you know, how we are taking care of the elderly in our family, how we are taking care of sick people in the family. There also a lot of times we may be focusing on the body and not paying attention to the self. So a lot of times we'll say that, you know, I'm doing so much for my ailing mother and she just doesn't seem to realize I am doing so much. But then if I see what I'm doing, I am giving her the medication, I am giving her the food, but I'm agitated. Just as an example, I may be agitated. So I just bang down the, you know, a plate of food in front of her or I get a glass of water and uh, or if she asks for something then I say again I just gave you I do get it but then I have all this resistance this non-acceptance so with all of that I am taking care of the body I am giving the medicine I am giving the food I am giving the water but am I also taking, you know, care of the self? Or am I creating unhappiness in the self of that? That we should also take care of. Not just for children, but for the elderly. For those of us who may have sick people in the home, especially with long-term illness. So uh, we have to, you know, keep in mind that, especially when the body is not in good health, 
the other person when they don't have the right understanding and they also may be assuming they are the body then you know they become unhappy with this and if we are able to see that uh, this is something that they are going through then we can help them we can help them have more understanding we can take care of not just the body but also the self of the relative i just wanted to bring that up coming to the next feeling the feeling of reverence that feeling of acceptance for excellence and what is this excellence so excellence here is the completeness of right understanding completeness of right understanding means that whole you know imagination all that i am thinking all day all the time that imagination that is continuously going on with me within me is all in line with the natural acceptance so that would be the completeness of right understanding this is you know it's all in line with the natural acceptance and i am able to see i am not only myself in harmony when this happens when my imagination is in line with my natural acceptance then i am in harmony isn't it now this is at the individual level i am not only in harmony myself i am also able to live in harmony in the family in the society as a unit in nature so now i am able to understand the harmony at all the levels i am living in harmony at all the levels that is the completeness of right understanding and when that happens i am going to be in continuous happiness so this if anybody is you know um having this excellence then the feeling that we have that feeling of acceptance for this excellence of the other person that feeling is being referred to as reverence so um if anybody has any questions about this we can take it up excellence means completeness of right understanding you can um give your opinion about this and if anybody would uh, you know has any doubts about this or uh, any questions regarding this we can talk about it otherwise we'll move on here we are not having limitation of the family or uh, some close uh, people it may be a public figure uh, which we are talking about mm -hmm. is that the thing well um, it could be anybody if this is somebody in my family who is uh, reached that excellence then i can feel have a feeling of reverence for that person in my family also it could be in my family it could be outside my family it could be a public figure it could be anybody a role model somebody who um, like baba amte or someone like that i mean i wouldn't take names i would just say you know somebody who has reached excellence that means okay they the the sign of that will be that they are in continuous happiness all the time oh great. because they are in harmony not just as an individual they are in harmony with whoever they are associating with their family society nature everything yes ji um geeta ji didi can we have an example for excellence and reverence did so that uh, we can have a better understanding didi well i just mentioned no somebody who has um is in continuous happiness all the time is mm -hmm. able to be in harmony live in harmony within uh, himself or herself and also in association with others in the family in the society in nature and so on so that would be somebody who has achieved excellence 
so feeling that the others have for this person who has achieved excellence would be a feeling of reverence mm -hmm. i thought uh, if you give an example it will be better for us to understand it If I may be thinking that I'm having excellence, but I may not be doing it. Yeah, so we have to ask ourselves: Are we in continuous happiness? Mm -mm. <laughs> are we able to see the harmony at all the levels and mm -mm. live in harmony at all these levels? Mm -mm. God is an example, I think, Saman. God. Ji. God is an example. We can take God, Sraddha. Yeah, I mean, let us talk of something that we can, you know, uh, <laughs> something yes. that we can, uh, you know, verify. Yeah, we can't ourselves. ever give the example of human beings. That is the problem. We can take. Yeah, I think if we speak one at a time, it will be better. Uh, but yeah, we uh, we can wait to pass the mic so How? that. I think Geeta ji, we were talking to. If Geeta ji is. Uh, yeah, still I am not convinced, Didi. I am sorry, not convinced. Still I am not able to be. Uh, satisfied with the term excellence theory yeah we can uh, just reflect on it i mean basically we are saying that whatever our potential is we have achieved that potential mm -hmm. so we have you know at no point at no moment will we have disharmony within us and at every moment we will be able to live in harmony with everybody around us so that would be the completeness Didi, can of we uh, refer uh, lord buddha See, I wouldn't go into all that because Lord Buddha is not here in front of you. But yes, yes <laughs> you know, yes, based yes. on based on whatever we know, one can say yes. But how how mm. does it make a difference? For me, I have to see it for myself, isn't it? So, mm -hmm. if I can see that you know I am far from that, and this is what I need to do to get there. i can also see that there are people who have gotten there and definitely i have a feeling of reverence for them mm -hmm. so in tradition not only lord buddha there may be so many others who have reached that point and we can have feeling of reverence for all of them who have reached mm -hmm. the completeness of right understanding but even if mm -hmm. we give it some name you know it to me i mean that is not important the important thing is to see that um, this is something that is achievable and others have done mm. it before me and i can also be on that path and i can also get there at some point mm -hmm. i think that would be more fruitful for us to focus on mm. but we can, we can have them as reference lord buddha all shankara certainly, certainly. Uh, certainly. feeling of acceptance yeah didi so reference is a high word didi it should not be used with common man didi but yes, in yes. our day to day life we use reverence for all people didi to true. get please them true yes and we say excellence for little you know some skill some subject also mm. we say excellence mm. Mm. yeah so here we are talking of thank you excellence on a larger scale yes mm sure didi yeah, yeah. thank you didi so from the reflection it is clear that we are all clear about what is this excellence now working for excellence and competing with the, each other is that the same thing no it's not the same thing isn't it what is happening is when we are trying to compete we want to get ahead of the other we want to be the best we want to be different from the other we want to be unique we want to be special but when we are working for excellence will we do that with the others no we'll try to help them also whatever i have understood i will try to help the other understand i will not want to be special i will not want to be unique rather i will see the similarity between myself and the other so those are the differences that we can see in um between excellence and competition so in excellence i can see my complementarity i want to help the other but when we are talking about you know when we are trying to compete then i'm 
all the while trying to show I am different, I am more, I am special. I'm not thinking about the other at all. I'm only thinking me, me, me. So um, in the case of excellence, because I have the right understanding, I have the right feeling. So this feeling will be definite. It will be unchanging. It will be continuous. So I will be, every moment I will have this feeling of relationship. I will have that right understanding. In continuity, it will be there. So my conduct will also be definite. And this feeling of relationship that I have for the others will be unconditional. No matter what the other person does, no matter the other person misbehaves, whatever he does, I will still have feeling of relationship because I can see my relatedness regardless of the other fellow's behavior. But when we are working with, you know, that focus on competition, then whatever my assumption is, based on that, my feeling will be there. So I might, you know, my feeling may keep changing. Today I have one assumption. I have, you know, I have a feeling in line with my natural acceptance. Next day, my assumption changes, my feeling changes, and so on. So when the feelings are indefinite, obviously my behavior also becomes indefinite. So it will keep changing. And a lot of times, you know, because I want to be ahead, everybody, uh, everybody else becomes like uh, somebody who is, you know, who I'm competing with and who I want to get ahead away from. I want to be special. So I start having a feeling of opposition towards all these people, everybody else. And my relationship becomes conditional. If that fellow shares his notes with me, then I will have feeling of relationship. Otherwise, I don't have something like that, whatever. So in the case of excellence, I'm trying to help the other. I'm trying to nurture the other. But in the case of competing, it could be either way. Depends on my preconditioning. Some people... I may nurture, some people I may exploit. Some people I have feeling of relationship, some, for some people I have feeling of opposition. And it keeps changing. For the same people also, today I may have feeling of relationship, tomorrow I may have feeling of opposition. Because as and when my assumptions change, my feeling also changes. My behavior also changes. And I keep trying to you know, prevent the other person from reaching my level. I keep trying to put down the other person. I keep trying to climb up higher and higher and push down everybody else so that nobody can come to my level. So there's a whole lot of difference between the two. When we look at uh, excellence, there is a definite completion point. It is something absolute. Everybody can reach there. That possibility is there for all. And there is a definite point where you can reach. That point is when, when you can understand the whole harmony in the existence and live in harmony. And everybody has the capacity to do that. It's not just one person. But if you look at competition, how many people can come first? Only one can come first. And it is something very relative. Today, this person is first. Tomorrow, somebody else is first. This person is second. Now it becomes relative. There is no absolute point, no definite completion point. It, everything is relative. Yes, there are some hands raised. We can take uh, uh, Babish Janila ji. Did you want to say something? Babish Janila ji. Satya ji. Did you want to say something or is uh, yes ma'am uh, this was uh, more in reference to the reverence and the definition of reverence so uh, you said that it's completeness of uh, the right understanding 
um but uh, uh, as human beings actually trying to excellence is the completeness of right understanding yes. excellence yes. is the feeling A that feeling we have matter. towards such people yeah. correct yeah. sorry sorry for that and uh, so uh, i i might reverse somebody i might have a feeling of reverence for somebody uh, the reason would be that they have re not reached they have not reached the point of completeness but they have reached to a certain maybe 90% level so uh, excellence uh, if we say completeness of that right understanding uh, it's it's generally like a, a zen position which very few can achieve so like i revere my mother because she is able to live in harmony with herself and with others and she does not judge people so seeing her certain characteristics i would like to reach to that excellence but it's not that she would be happy always like there are chances when other people will make her sad so um the harmony is there but it's it is not always in continuation and uh, as a human being that always happens so that's why i think some uh, professors give the example of buddha but uh, i feel that um, excellence should be that somebody who's reaching that like reaching something like infinity so reaching that but reached that uh, uh, do you think very like anybody could reach that level buddha was also reached. a human being yes buddha yes yes correct correct <laughs> buddha was a human being but we can't really um, he, but he left also left his family what he did was perfectly right i i do not have a right to judge whatever he did he reached a position and that was perfectly well i would well. say let's not go there yes also. yes correct so let's uh, not go so if yeah. we want to talk about somebody who's living now and we can have a, a, a certain reverence uh, for that so in this world let's just uh, consider the world we are in maybe uh, 100 up to down 0 to 100 those years then uh, um, uh, like Uh, 100% achievement of that i feel it's not possible could we then maybe modify that say reaching that instead of completeness <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is so this the next uh, feeling that we'll talk about the feeling of glory yes so uh, yes yes correct ma'am but uh, i i feel that i reverse somebody but i am taking uh, seeing everything like all the aspects but completeness is not always there in uh, human being right now if we can see there no, are no, certain no. let us not close that door yes yes Because let's explore are, correct there are many many people who are able to achieve this excellence that we are saying am i audible yes yes ma'am you're perfectly audible yeah. but in certain aspects of their life they would have uh, come down or left something or uh, because uh, you know we are in a family life and we do get affected though you know whatever we are listening we, we try to speak for ourselves that you know we ma'am you're not audible right now i don't know if it's my network uh, issue but i am unable to hear you not possible i would not say there are many many people in tradition who um you know from what you read about them they have achieved this excellence not just in the very very you know like centuries ago but recent years also there are so many saints who have achieved this so i would say you know let's keep it open Um, uh, yes, I'm correct. Uh, saints, not a family person, I would say. So <laughs> very true. Very true. That's what. Uh, like there is no bandhan for them. So uh, yes, true. Uh, saints, we can say, but in an. But yeah, it's again open for discussion. Surely, but thank you so much. I I, I understand. It's it's very open ended also. Yes. Um, yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um. so going further i think there are couple more hands raised maybe we'll take those first um rabindra ji is there if you can make it brief uh, uh, yes yes ahead. madam Jee. just as far as the the excellence is con concerned if i do not have the the right understanding uh, that feeling with me uh, the completeness within me so can i ensure that 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 is also a, a a question so that that has to be uh, seen 
But what we see also in the present scenario are the USB contents, uh, all the resource persons that they are in the in the in in the process of work, uh, in the ex in the effort of excellence for uh, the 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 uh, the the entire uh, uh, nation. So they are the nation builders. So that is uh, the the real, real models are the, the role models are the, that that they have the part they are doing for the nation, the country, the society, and our for ourselves. That is the the uh, living model of, uh, of, of all of us. Uh, there is no uh, we, we can say. Uh, I think many of you know many yes, of us will uh, say uh, of that course, yes. Uh, of course, whatever we we see from the uh, the uh, the uh, the ancestors from the, from the history also, and but no, as per the madam is saying, uh, the uh, the living model uh, just as, as I, I I I explore because this feeling is is there with with the, the what we see we experience with the with the very biggest and validity we, we do not have seen also. We are continuously uh, uh, this, they, 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 they are day and night uh, they every uh, continuously uh, for years together they are for years and years they are working also for the development of the the society so that that uh, for, with reference to that I, I come to uh, this come to my mind uh, thank you yes so <clears throat> many people are there who are making effort for excellence uh, and they may not have reached small even a small in a village also they the, the, the people are they do no illiterate people they but they are doing a lot of things for the nature and for contribution of yes. the, the poor yes. people yes so yes. that 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 has to be seen we, we, yes, do, yes. we try to see then we will look look so many things so even the beggar the beggars are even collecting the the, the, the money from the people and they are for the contribute you know, contributing for the for this the society also donating you know, for the, the the schools charity and that that is also there so unless and until we see this uh, we, 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 that that uh, that that feelings will not be coming okay. yeah that okay. is one part of it i mean um, you know we have to look at the whole the holistic picture for those who are working for excellence those who have reached excellence that completeness of right understanding that is uh, the important part there so uh, they are able to be in harmony they are able to live in harmony at all the levels all the time continuously but, but that madam, is my important. question was that if i do not have the the, the capacity the capacity to see this uh, I do not have the capacity to have right understanding on uh, the right feeling. Then I cannot uh, see the uh, the feelings of uh, uh, the, the reverence that that is that uh, is true or false. Well, you will be able to see some uh, expression of that. So you know you will be able to see that the other person, that person who is achieved excellence, has um, this. Uh, you know they are always in harmony whenever you have been able to see them talk to them interact with them uh, you find they are always in harmony they are always happy they are always comfortable they never lose yes. their cool they never get angry they yes. are able to live in harmony with everybody rich poor young old everybody without any conflict so that would be like a small expression of yes, that. Yes. Yeah. But uh, just I experienced because like last two years, whatever the questions, uh, no, whatever the maybe the questions, uh, the interactions, there is no opposition feeling with the the service persons, and they uh, they come and quite you know, the same responses are, are maybe sometimes say uh, leaks or um, all the questions are odd, but the, the the response is same. So that is the greatness of this, and thank you. Gee, I would just say you know for us and speaking for myself. I will say that, you know, yes, we are all looking to get there. We all want to be there. We are on that path. Uh, but definitely, you know, there is a long way to go. We can see that for ourselves. And um, I should say for myself, I shouldn't speak for others. Yes, but yes, um, certainly, you know, uh, it is possible. And many people have gone there. And there may be many, many for every one person that we know of who has achieved excellence, there may be 10 others who are somewhere in some cave and we don't really know about them. But, yes, yes. Uh, you know, that possibility is there. The possibility is there. Yes, 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 madam. Rightly. Thank you. So going on to the feeling of glory and the feeling of gratitude. The feeling that we have for those 
who have made effort for excellence. Those who are making effort for excellence, they are on that path for excellence, but they have not quite reached excellence yet. They have not reached the completeness of understanding, but they are making an effort to you know, have the right understanding. So we tend to have a feeling of glory for those people. And when it comes to the feeling of gratitude, those who are making effort for my excellence, those who are helping me on my path to excellence, for them, I have a feeling of gratitude. So uh, before I go further, if anybody has any doubt regarding this glory and gratitude, we can take it up. Sumati ji, did you have to, uh, did you have any question? Meenu ji? Didi. Didi, so uh, when, for example, somebody gets an Olympic medal for athletics, this, uh, Didi, then that becomes an example of glory, isn't it? Or is it excellence? I would say neither. Because here, when we are talking of excellence or making effort for excellence, we are talking about having the right understanding. Right. That is one skill. Some gold medal for something means it's a skill. Right, right. So, um, you know, that way you can have so many skills. It could be mathematics, it could be English literature, it could be mm. swimming, so many things. So they are skills which is one part of it. Okay. But if you look at the completeness, in completeness, holistically, if we see the whole picture, then having that understanding, the right understanding, having the harmony within us, mm -hmm. and being able to live in harmony with everything around, every other unit around, Did it? that would be excellence. And those who are making effort for that, that would be for those we could have feeling of glory is what we are saying so didi those who are walking on the path the 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 feeling is glory and the ones who have walked it the feeling is excellence can i say that way feeling is reverence reverence sorry yeah 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 yes thank you didi. those who have reached or have completed that right path to right understanding for them we have feeling of reverence those who are on the path making effort have not quite reached the end yet. Yeah. For them, we can have feeling of glory. And, and the those... path to right understanding is the path of excellence. Right, Didi? Yes. Thank you, Didi. And those who are making effort for me to get to excellence, for them, I have a feeling of gratitude. Is there any other hand raised? Shashikanji, did you have a question regarding this? Uh, yes. Uh, so does it mean that uh, the uh, circle of uh, gratitude is relatively smaller as compared to that of glory? And uh, that of the glory is very, very small as compared to that of the reverence. Well, um, certainly those who are making effort for my excellence will be a small number perhaps. But then if you look at, you know, small things that are contributing, then that number can grow tremendously. So, uh, you know, if we look at how many people may have helped me, it's not just my parents. Every little thing, if we look, some physical facility, Something may have contributed to something. Um, somebody, you know, with the right feeling did something else for me. Like that, so many things may, if we start making a list, we might have a long list. But it will be lesser uh, as compared to that of the list who, which comes under glory. Feeling for those who have made effort for excellence. Yes, it is possible. And, uh, but the, the list of the ones 
who are making effort for excellence might be longer than the list of those who have completed that path. Yes, so the, yes, yes. Very true. So yeah. reverence will be again smaller. Gratitude will be smaller. Glory might be having a larger number as compared to these two. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about analyzing all this. Uh, rather, you know, we should try to see this feeling for ourselves yes. and see if we have this feeling within us for Grat others. Gratitude is an individual feeling that we al almost every day do have. But we are always confused about these two things regarding the glory and the reverence and uh, unless the examples are given for these two, it becomes difficult for us to understand. How to convince these feelings to the student is also a bit difficult thing. Yeah, so we don't have to convince anybody about anything. We are just saying that, you know, if there is, if we see this completeness of right understanding, understanding the harmony at all the levels. Yeah. If you are able to reach there and be in harmony all the time, be happy all the time with that. Yeah. Reaching that point, you know, that is excellence. Okay. Being on the path and not having reached there, for them we have glory. Those who have reached there, for them we have reverence. Okay. I think it is straightforward once we uh, are able to understand that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Ji. Um, okay, Gita Ji. Didi? Ji, did you want to share something? Yeah, yes, Didi, a small clarification. Yeah. Uh, Didi, in our day-to-day -day life, we have gratitude for who are all who have helped. A timely help, Didi, uh, maybe giving money or helping me from a life danger. Uh, so, uh, can that be the same of uh, gratitude that we are uh, referring here, Didi, or... Yeah. So at least we can start with having gratitude for everybody who may have done something for me. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Mm. We can start with that. And then, you know, because uh. Uh, we may not be able to, you know, we may not be appreciating the whole extent of excellence right now. So at least we can mm. start with that, you know, having the feeling of gratitude within us for so mm. many people who have helped us in so many ways. And then we can also, you know, start seeing that, uh, you know, so many people have made effort. But now I can work for excellence. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? I have mm -hmm. the capacity to be able to work for excellence with the help of so many people around. Mm -hmm. So many people have done so much for me. Mm -hmm. that we, yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Didi. Thank you. Sanchita ji. Did you want to share something? Okay. Meenu ji, did you want to share something more? No, Didi, uh, I already asked, sorry. Okay, that's okay. I think then we are, we'll move ahead. So, if you look at the feeling of gratitude, we said feeling of gratitude is the feeling for those who have made effort for my excellence. Now, I can see that the other person has a feeling of care, has a feeling of affection, has a feeling of trust, you know, when I interact with them. I can also see that the other person has helped me in developing right understanding, right feeling in me. They are providing me with the necessary physical facility. So all this, um, when I can see, I have the feeling of gratitude. This feeling of gratitude is a very significant feeling in the development of relationship. So if I don't have this feeling of gratitude, uh, it doesn't help me sort of, um, you know, appreciate the relationship fully. So we can try to check for ourselves in our life, all those who have made effort for us in our life in any way. Are we really appreciating 
everything that has been done or are we just focusing on this was not done that was not done because i had a deprived childhood now i have this this sanskar so are we focusing on what was not done right or what was missed out or are we able to appreciate both the things what has been done and what has not been done are we rightly evaluating that we can have the reflection now about this ji gratitude is significant in development of relationship and while that is going on um we can check again um we have minu ji's hand is raised ji didi ji didi when you said uh, are we mostly focused on what has not been done a thought just came into my mind mm-hmm. of late didi we have a lot of uh, this uh, so called woke philosophy that because they were deprived they did this so perhaps didi we need to tell our students also that instead of focusing on what you could not get and making that as an excuse for wrong choices if we focus on what we were able to get this thought just came in my mind yes certainly and see what happens is this was not done this was not done this was not done we keep focusing on that are we going to make any effort for improving ourselves we can yeah we'll just sit back with that and keep focusing on you know all this went wrong in my childhood therefore i am like that mm. so then we don't make any effort this 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 problem i have because it is genetically you know this this happened therefore i have this problem we can start working on making an effort to change and we'll find that very often you know we are able to do that that potential is there in us but we are not tapping that potential because we are so busy complaining about what didn't go right isn't it didi didi ji yeah so we are all able to see this gratitude is very significant in the development of the relationship so do you have a feeling of gratitude for the other that is continuous or does the feeling of gratitude come and go what do you think we can have anybody you know um, answer this question you can raise your hand if you would like to comment about this in your case specifically do you have a feeling of gratitude that it stays all the time is continuous or do you have a feeling of gratitude that comes and goes from time to time it's there sometimes it's not there other times um i'm not able to pass the mic bhaiya can you please pass the mic there is there are some hands raised seema patel ji um tathagat ji uh the my grat uh maybe tathagat ji one moment we'll just uh, listen to seema ji first okay ji uh the my gratitude would be continuous because once i understand uh that feeling uh, what the other person has made for my excellence uh that feeling should continue all the time so the, gra- the feeling of gratitude will also be continuous yeah should continue but uh, right now how is it that we all have to check we have to see for ourselves what is being asked is do you have a feeling of gratitude for the other that is continuous or does the feeling of gratitude in you come and go meaning we should have we want it's it's continuous once i understand okay. yeah okay if that is so that is nice very nice ji tathagat ji yes you want uh, to share something ha uh, ha 
good afternoon ma'am good afternoon my core explorers uh, i just want to say that gratitude should be in continuous like i can uh, give one example uh, see in our childhood days our teachers who has uh, uh, who have taught us uh, the values and uh, because when we were the child so we used to uh, basically it has it has been seen that the child always uh, listens to the teachers what uh, they inculcate from the school uh, so let's not look at the third person kind of thing let us focus on ourselves yes so uh, try obviously, to see for yourself yes so uh, uh, even if uh, if this is the uh, at this point of time if, if i uh, see my uh, one of my teachers uh, who has become very old uh, but yet we remember the values and the gratitude that uh, that i have uh, learned from him or her so it it should be in continuity uh, so that is the ideal situation it should be in continuity yeah so there we are saying what it should be what i'm trying to say is it is time now that we have to check our feeling for ourselves we have to see for ourselves even if we are not able to say it right now let us keep that exploration going am i having a feeling of gratitude that is continuous in me or am i having this feeling of gratitude come and go sometimes i have gratitude sometimes i don't have the feeling of gratitude is that the case with me let us try to work on that exploration this is what uh, you know the uh, point of this these questions is because now we have been through the information we know what we want we know the natural acceptance now the problem is that the ability is not matching the natural acceptance so now we have to start working on the ability part so we have to directly start seeing our feelings do we have this feeling in us or not is it continuous or not is this feeling in line with the natural acceptance or not those things now we have to start seeing for ourselves um take somebody who has not yet shared umesh kumar ji did you want to share something umesh kumar ji okay maybe it was a mistake um what i'll do is we'll go a little bit further and then we'll take more observations are you making effort for ensuring the right feelings in yourself and expressing them to the other or are you expecting these feelings from the other now it may seem like this is such a you know simple question are we making effort for ensuring the right feeling and expressing them or are we expecting the feeling what should be the case we all know what is actually happening for us each one of us should be checking for ourselves because until and unless we do this exploration for ourselves until and unless we check within ourselves it will not be very meaningful what somebody else is doing doesn't matter how are we doing with all of this that is important so maybe we can take some more sharing vandana ji you like to say something uh good afternoon ma'am just okay. wanted to uh, share um, one thought while we were discussing about gratitude uh, that the feeling of gratitude uh, which is continuous and it doesn't uh, just comes and goes so every day in the morning when i get up and i thank my body for giving me another day so can i call it as a feeling of gratitude which is always there uh, every day in the morning yeah but um what i would say is that um just one moment when we are talking of feeling of gratitude we are talking about human human relationships feelings in human human relationships but so having gratitude for self uh, will not be included in that case well you said body yes for my body because every day it is like i'm healthy so i'm thankful to my body that uh, it is every day giving me a new day to live and to fulfill the objectives or the goals we are associating with the body or the body is you know who is responsible for whom so what i'm trying to say is 
feelings are in the self right feelings are for in one self for another self the body can be used as an expression to express uh, the feeling so essentially when we are talking of feelings in relationship when we are talking of all these feelings we are imp- talking about feelings in one self for the other self of course the body is important we are using the body to express the feeling but the feeling is in the self and the feeling is for another self largely but of course you know we can we can uh, sort of have this uh, uh, we can feel fortunate that we are in a position that we have this wonderful tool that we can use but uh, i wouldn't necessarily call it feeling of gratitude i would say okay thank you ma'am um before we take more questions i think i'll go further then we can always come back to the questions so i think this must be now uh, clear that uh, you know these uh, feelings that we have talked of so much so far that when we are talking of excellence we all aspire for continuous happiness and to achieve that continuous happiness we work for excellence and when we achieve that excellence that means that is what is being implied is that we have understood the harmony at all the levels of our being and we are living in that harmony such that we are in continuous happiness we are all the time in harmony within ourselves so um that is excellent so if you look at all the feelings we have discussed so far trust and respect i think we spoke of earlier also this would be feelings that we can have for all reverence you know if you look at um, affection care guidance those will be for few reverence will be specifically for those who have already achieved excellence feeling of glory will be for those who are making effort for excellence have not quite reached or achieved it yet gratitude will be for those who are making effort for my excellence so i think uh, it should be you know quite clear now going on to the feeling of love so you can ask your natural acceptance you want to be related to none one many or everyone so if you are you know not related to anybody not having this feeling of being related to anybody that means we'll be in opposition to all certainly we can see that that is not naturally acceptable how about these others feeling of being related to one or feeling of being related to many that is the feeling of affection we have a natural acceptance for what um you know feeling of being related to one many or everyone you can answer this in the chat do we want to be related to have the feeling of relationship for one many or everyone many all everyone yeah largely we are getting that answer everyone certainly yes our natural acceptance is for having the feeling of relationship for all so if we see if we are related to one i mean having the feeling of being related to one or to few then we call it affection but when we have the feeling of being related to all then it is love that is the complete value so if we can have the reflection here priya can we have the reflection i have a better understanding of the feeling of love with the discussion so far hopefully um meanwhile we'll uh, take any questions regarding this feeling of being related to all or um feeling of love 
good afternoon ma'am yeah good afternoon yeah regarding this uh, gratitude uh, feeling which we were talking previously yeah i just want to express my exploration or uh, my uh, thought process yeah uh, it would be actually free? every every day whenever uh, uh whenever i i am i am the professor in the college whenever i teach my students and uh, usually i have the expression of gratitude that uh, today i am standing here because of my teachers my parents etc so every day every one other day every minute i used to thank everybody who had made me stand here and uh, do something useful for the society so this uh, always it will be there it is continuously it will be there in my mind and also whenever i am taking my food i also used to thank the people who are growing the rice the vegetables the fruits who are doing ex they are doing excellence to, to i mean they are working for my excellence to make me healthy uh, to grow such uh, uh, healthy foods and uh, the things and they are doing their hard work in order so that i can get it uh, at some cost so i used to always thank those people who are behind this so this uh, this i can it is very true that this uh, uh, the sense of gratitude should be always continuous and it is there ma'am i just want to express my feeling to you and just uh, and out of all the feelings whatever we have discussed i take this gratitude feeling as the one the top most ma'am whenever i always feel that even we had this uh, the previous uh, uh, class also when i attended uh, out of all the feelings i always take this gratitude feeling as a top notch one i just want to share with you <laughs> ji so, thank you thank you thank you so what we are um, what we are trying to say here is that um, if we look at the feeling of love feeling of being related to all that is the complete value and uh, in the reflection also the vast majority almost all are able to say that you know they have a better understanding of feeling of love after this talk but this feeling of being related to all that is the complete value now this goes beyond human beings also so having this feeling of being related to all not just human beings but to all the units in existence that is that feeling of love so plants and trees animals birds everything is included here so having that feeling of being related to all that is love so you start with maybe you know one or two people you see your relationship with one human being more human beings that is that feeling of affection then it slowly expands and you see your relationship with all human beings then beyond that you go to each and every unit in nature all the units then we call it love and this can be expressed in the form of kindness beneficence compassion this feeling is there for all but we will express it only to those that we come in contact with so we can have like we were talking of you know this feeling we can have within us and we express it to few whoever we come in contact with so when we have this feeling of love for everybody then we can have an undivided society so if you look at you know now if we come to justice what is justice so today in courts and all we talk of justice but is that justice or you know are we talking about what to do with injustice we are trying to solve problems of injustice so what would be justice so justice is the recognition fulfillment and evaluation of human relationships such that it leads to happiness on both sides mutually so when we say recognition recognition of the relationship that means accepting the relationship unconditionally accepting the other seeing their full potential and also evaluating their current competence correctly 
but not holding their competence as a condition unconditionally accepting the relationship regardless of what the other person's competence level is just going by this full possibility that is there in all so we unconditionally accept our relationship with all see that relationship with all and when we see that relationship then we go to fulfill that relationship so first what do we have to do to fulfill any relationship ensure the feeling within ourselves and then share it with the other person so in that process first we are ensuring the feeling within ourselves then we are sharing it with the other person so in that sharing what we are doing is we are taking responsibility at least for our behavior we are living with responsibility with the other person regardless of what his condition is no conditions attach person may have very low competence person may be misbehaving still we ensure the feeling within ourselves live with responsibility now when we continue to live with responsibility with the other person ensuring the feeling within ourselves then at some point the other person becomes comfortable the other person is assured by our behavior which is definite and when that happens now when we try to help the other to develop then the other is open to accepting our help so now we can make effort for mutual development i can develop my own competence and i can also help the other person develop their competence problem comes when we don't ensure the feeling from our side we don't take responsibility for our behavior we don't accept the relationship unconditionally so we keep you know because we are not taking responsibility our behavior is indefinite the other person is not at all assured and we keep trying to tell the other person something and they don't listen so first we have to ensure the feeling within ourselves we have to live with responsibility we have to continue to live with responsibility regardless of the other person's behavior we don't just turn around and start shouting at them because then the person is going to say you know all this that you are telling me you haven't been able to do it for yourself so how will it work for me so the other person is not assured so first we you know assure the other person with our behavior then we start trying to help them develop their competence and all the while we are working on our own competence also and ultimately the evaluation part that when we share the right feeling we make sure that the right feeling has reached the other person the other person is able to you know see that we have the right feeling for them the other person is able to have that so we are verifying that so all of this when we do then we can have um human human relationships where there is mutual happiness and that can ultimately lead to an undivided society so um this way we can go from the our small independent unit family to a larger and larger and larger widening circle till we have a world family where there are no boundaries we can uh, go beyond you know uh, belief systems beyond gender beyond uh, appearances beyond thoughts ideologies and so on beyond you know who has more or less physical facility and all those differences that we go by so then there will be no boundary and we can see our relatedness with all ultimately leading to a world family so this is what i had to share about uh, for today there are some questions that uh, i thought we can go through um we have a few more minutes so maybe we'll take one or two questions and then we'll go on to the quiz i think some of these questions we already uh, talked of like when we are feeding the child and so on our affection and attachment the same thing so i think we were able to talk about it but in case you know if somebody would like to share um you can sort of i have some hands raised 
so if you can share your understanding of affection and attachment uh, we can take that geeta ji would you like to share uh, didi namaste didi namaste uh, didi one observation from my side didi can you go back two slides back didi uh, no observation i think we will Uh, in the interest of time i wanted to just take a couple of questions because we are almost out of time now okay okay didi no problem so maybe another time we can do uh, sure ji anybody would like to um, what i'll do is i'll lower all the hands and anybody would like to um, say this uh, you know affection and attachment are they the same thing something different if you would like to share that shashikant ji Uh, yes, Didi. Uh, affection comes with the responsibility towards uh, the other person, while attachment need not have that uh, responsibility of care and guidance. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is nice. it okay? Um. Anything else that you can think of? Attachment doesn't have the responsibility. Uh, Uh, of uh, really caring because it is it is temporary while affection is far more uh, closer uh, feeling yeah so what i would say is you know affection yes we are taking responsibility in the relationship and we are ensuring the feeling within ourselves huh. but in the case of attachment what is happening is one is that we are over evaluating the relationship isn't it yeah yeah and the other thing is we are not ensuring the feeling within us we are depending on the other person for the feeling hmm. that is why we are insecure all the time yeah. whereas if we have the feeling ensured within us then we are not insecure we are confident we are already yeah. happy yeah. so that difference also is there okay okay thank Jee. you Okay, I think uh, we should be stopping. Maybe we have three, four minutes left. But yeah, you think we should? Uh, I'll just quickly go over this assignment. Maybe you can uh, take a screenshot. Each person has a different level of competence. There are many differences. With these differences, what program can you make to ensure the complementariness with every member of the family? That is one part, and. what program can you make in the institution to promote the effort for excellence in students so that we don't have competition but rather we have excellence so we keep saying the system is like that system is like that so now is our chance to try to make a program where we can break this monotony and we can go with a more creative solution where uh, we are working for excellence rather than competition we can try out different things and something might work and what efforts can be made to help the students understand the true meaning of love so these uh, things we can sort of you can just take a screenshot and work on them it might be quite fruitful i think we'll stop there uh,